everyone, welcome to my little corner of the internet. My name is Smay, if you're new here. Welcome also, if you're not new here, to New Quality. Um, if any of you saw my last weekly vlog when Nick and I were in the wire wrapper for Easter, my camera unfortunately died while I was there, so I figured that was a sign that I should finally upgrade my camera. So I now have a G7X Mark II, which has a screen up above it, so I've vlogged on other people's cameras with a flip-up screen before, but it's definitely taking some getting used to um, for not looking in like the camera screen rather than looking in like the actual lens. So apologies if you see me flipping up, I know that's really annoying. Um, today though, instead of doing a normal like follow me around vlog, I thought what I might do is show you all of the DIY progress that Nick and I have uh, been doing because I think it's been quite a while since I showed you like the DIYs we're doing. I feel like it was probably the garden and that was definitely a few months ago now. Uh, and since that last video where I would have been showing you the garden, we have been super busy and the house is looking a little bit different. So I have like a whole list here of things that I wanted to remember to show you guys. So I think we might just go around the house and we'll have a look at some of the DIYs. Hopefully you guys find this interesting. I think for me as well this will be really cool looking back at like the video from the day that we moved into the house to things like now we were making so much progress with the DIY and then even like in a year's time or in more years time if we do more to the house it's always really cool to see it in different stages so you guys do seem to enjoy my DIY videos so here's hoping. Um, the first change that I can show you is actually in this room so let me turn around the camera and we shall start and I'll also stop doing whatever this is with my hand. <laughs> so the first change is these new prints which I've added. I got these uh, for Christmas or for my birthday from my parents a while ago but annoyingly with this office there's nowhere really for them to go because it would be ideal if they could go on this wall here but because of this like weird shaped window they'd have to sit almost like like below eye level I just thought it would be a bit weird so I'm now changed them and they're hanging up here. Um, the prints that were there I'll show you where they are in a second but yeah this is like the whole entire Alice in Wonderland book if I can show you if it focuses on that. So I thought that was pretty cool and I wanted to hang them up somewhere. So the prints that were in my office are now sitting above the stairwell like this. So we still have two pictures to go up here which are actually sitting um, in here right now so one of them will be a bunch of Polaroids but I've ordered the frame it just hasn't arrived yet um, and then this one also is actually a quote from the Cinderella movie it just says have courage be kind so they will sit uh, underneath these two I'll chuck in a clip now if they the frames arrive before this video goes live um, but yeah this is what everything is looking like so this Alice print was in my office just in a different frame and then so was this one of Claire for the Breakfast Club which says I'm so popular everyone loves me so much and then the other prints that were in my office were these three over here which is of my key necklace um, but we've just chucked them in the lounge and then I think eventually um, we'll get three more to go on this side as well so it's kind of a bit more symmetry but yeah these are our prints so this one I got from a shop called Good Regards uh, and it's like a feather duster I think it's cool because it's like a feather on a knuckle duster um, this frame as you can see we don't have anything to go into there yet but we will eventually this is a little postcard from a shop called Madame Fancy Pants which just says shit happens we've got Alice as I said and then we have this print here which I took in a plant shop the other day and I really liked and then this one that I took in Italy we have this little Instagram here of Nick and I in Paris on Christmas Day a few years ago and then some more Polaroids of our trip to Italy uh, and then the Breakfast Club print and then this one which is actually a card it just says EXO and I thought the gold of this matched the gold of this postcard. We also have replaced the light in our stairwell finally pretty much as long as we've been living here it's just been a spare bulb so now it looks really pretty when you turn it on because it makes kind of a cool pattern uh, on the wall as well so I really like that. This one isn't as exciting but we had this coat rack which we just got from Kmart here in New Zealand but we went and got another one so we could have a few more coats and then I've also just hung up this picture which says enjoy your life. My best friend Hannah got me this for my birthday this year and I thought it was really cute and kind of a nice reminder as you're about to walk out the door. I can't remember if I've shown you these in a video before but I guess it doesn't hurt to show you again um, but we also added some new trees to our garden. I think this is what I was doing when I was last updating you. So this is another Fijoa tree that we've planted quite close to this one because this is also a Fijoa tree and normally they have to be together to um, 
like fruit. And this plant right here at the moment is just a little shrub but it should grow to be about two meters wide so hopefully it will kind of like cover up uh, where this wagon wheel is sitting is like the drain that we can't cover up so hopefully that tree will just provide a bit more coverage. Um, and we also have grass, that's definitely one thing that we wouldn't have had when I last showed you outside because Nick was building these retaining walls and in the process we kind of just like killed all of the grass anyway and replanted it so it's exciting now that we have some grass you can kind of see that it's still coming through but yeah all going good um, and then we've also planted this tiny little tree right here and then another tree there which will also in time grow big and help like cover up this gap because for some reason there's like no trees here um, and then we've planted another shrub over here which will also just do the same thing and provide some coverage then I think I only showed you these shrubs um, out of the window one time but yeah this is our vegetable garden which we haven't planted any veggies yet but at the moment we've just planted these shrubs which again in time will grow so they actually kind of like make one big hedge as well one DIY that Nick has been working on let me just try and find the best angle to show you uh, is these hallway doors so I can't remember what the name of the doors that were here before. I feel like I've got a clip of them, but there were those ones that have like a bunch of slats. So they were definitely like in fitting with the style of the house, but when it came to cleaning, they were a nightmare. So we replaced it with uh, these doors which had the grooves in them, which also match uh, the doors in our spare room wardrobe. They will also match the doors on our wardrobe, which we still haven't got around to doing, but more on that later. So he's built this shelf unit. We also like replaced this whole wall because this wall wasn't really here. The two shelves, or the two doors, sorry, went like straight into each other. So now we have uh, like a storage cupboard, which as you can see at the moment, isn't that full, which is awesome because the more stuff we get, um, the more that we can fill the cupboard with. And then this one in here, which is just a single door, is our uh, laundry cupboard or like my Manchester and stuff. I realise the lighting looks a bit weird because I had the lights on but having these doors being white definitely brighten up the hallway I think even if I was to turn them off you can see because we've painted uh, the spare room and then my office door white and then eventually we'll paint my well, our bedroom door and then our bathroom door white as well and then as well as the walls will be white so then the hallway will be nice and bright. So while Nick was working on these cupboards and making them more beautiful, I was working on ripping off all of the wallpaper in our bedroom. So now our bedroom, oh the sun's kind of playing up, but now our bedroom looks like this. This might be a bit of a better angle to show you, the sun's just at an awkward time of day right now. Um, but our walls did used to be this colour and I've taken all the wallpaper off because we're going to be painting it uh, mostly white and then this wall here will be a feature wall of like a dark grey colour. Um, but let me just tell you, taking this wallpaper off was such a blimmin' mission because when we took the wallpaper off next door it was just like straight wallpaper so it came off actually pretty easily but in this bedroom the wallpaper's gone up and then they've over time like painted the wallpaper as well so it took me like three times as long. I think I worked on it for about three weeks uh, like in the weekends and in the evenings and stuff but I've finally done it. If any of you have ever had to take wallpaper off that's either been like wallpapered over it multiple times if it's even painted over you'll know that it's a bloody mission um but yeah finally got that done i think i watched like four seasons or maybe three seasons of gilmore girls while i was doing it um but as soon as nick has finished the wardrobe which i'll show you now uh then we will move into the spare room so that we can start sanding and prepping this room and painting it but yeah we've been living like it like this for only maybe like since easter time um so it's not too bad but yeah it definitely feels really weird so i'm looking forward to getting the paint on it um and then right now this is what our wardrobe is looking like so to be fair i don't think it's that much different since the last time i showed you other than the fact we have a sheet over half of our clothes um but this weekend nick has built this little structure here with the pink wood um so he's taken off a panel that was there because now the wall will come up to here so we just need to cover that uh with jib board as well and then get the doors on it which are over here um so we're gonna have bifold doors this is like one side and the other side is behind it um next put all the fixtures on it right now just to make sure that everything fits and then once we're sure that everything is going to fit properly then we'll take them off again and paint them which is why at the moment they've just been primed but they're not painted but yeah i'm really excited with the progress that we've been making on this bedroom so far this and the bathroom were the two diy projects that i really wanted to get done this year so it feels awesome that at least we feel like we've started uh, our bedroom and we'll definitely have that done by like 
midwinter, if not even maybe like the start of winter. So right now I am standing in a bathroom. You can't really see it really much from this angle. Um, but I don't think when I showed you like the empty house tour when we moved in, I showed you the room next door, which is just like literally a toilet. Um, and having a separate toilet in your bathroom is all well and good, but that room where the toilet is, which I'll show you in a second, is literally just a toilet room. Like it doesn't even have room for a sink. So in my opinion, it kind of defeats the purpose of having a separate toilet if there's nowhere to like wash your hands and stuff in there as well. Um, and then also this bathroom isn't the biggest. So Nick and I have decided that we're going to knock down this wall here. Hello, there's me. Um, and I'll show you next door where the toilet is to just make the bathroom a bit bigger. Um, so we have all these plans, which I think I might actually film like a whole separate video on because we are hopefully going to do the majority of the renovations in this bathroom ourselves as well. There are things like um, getting a tiler and getting a plumber in that we will have to do professional, like get professional people in because uh, I think those things are really important and I don't think you can really like hack a plumbing job. You can definitely hack a tiling job but it just doesn't look very good. Um, so that is also the other thing that I mentioned that I wanted to get done this year. At the moment it's looking like it might not be until like September, October time that we get it done which is all good because this year is flying by so I feel like that's gonna come by like Feel like tomorrow but because i was having so much strife with taking the wallpaper off our bedroom our toilet room also had wallpaper in it which was really weird um but that wallpaper was just like plain wallpaper it wasn't um painted over and that was a lot easier to take off so as a bit of an overview this is what our bathroom currently looks like um so this side of it will pretty much be staying the same with the bath and the shower we're just going to replace this plastic panel with some tiles and then this whole wall as I mentioned, we'll be getting removed, so our sink unit, which will also have storage as well, not just be a sink, will go this way. And then our toilet, which is currently next door, this way will flip to be that way, pretty much. Um, and then that's going to be our bathroom. We'll replace this, like, lino floor with hopefully some nice tiles on the floor as well. So this is what our toilet unit looks like. It's really just, as I said, a toilet. But I've started to take off all the wallpaper. Let me just turn the light on. Um, I haven't bothered on this side because of course this is the wall that's going to be getting removed but the rest of it looks pretty darn ugly I'm not gonna lie I've even started like taking off from around the door frame as well because um, this door will be getting removed and then our hallway will just like continue on and then you'll still enter the bathroom through there so with the bathroom looking like it is and then also with our bedroom looking like it is um it does feel like we're living in a bit of a construction zone right now which to be fair i guess we are oh wow this lighting is very pink um but yeah that is pretty much our update of the renovations and stuff that we've been doing when i like make a list like that and show you everything it definitely feels like a lot of stuff that we've been doing I mean really in like the last two or three months. I haven't really gone into too many DIY tips because I think for a lot of you, you just enjoy watching the DIYs rather than wanting to like replicate certain things by yourself. But I do of course have tips because as we've been doing this, we've been learning stuff like the best way to take off uh, wallpaper is by using hot water or stuff like that as well. So I guess if you do have any DIY questions, then feel free to leave them for me in the comment section or chuck me a tweet or something and I will do my best to reply to you. Nick is about to start doing more stuff to the wardrobe and he's going to be using the drill and the hammer. So I'll wrap this video up. Uh, thank you very much for watching. As I said, leave me any DIY questions that you have. Uh, I will update you when we start working on the bedroom and then also eventually when we start working on the bathroom. Thank you very much for watching. Have a wonderful week or weekend whenever you're watching this. And I'll see you all next week for a haul video. Bye.